What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to go over a quick little day trading recap. Trade stock CETX. And I am actually on a four day win streak. Check it out. Well, guys, if you saw my video last night, I made a video talking about E Trade and, uh, you know, how I haven't had any real issues with it in a while uh, as far as the platform itself goes with glitches and stuff like that, uh, and how I clear the cash um, in the mornings. I did that this morning. Uh, I didn't have any order execution issues. I don't think I have ever had any that I can remember of, like I said last night, but this morning I had major lag on. Uh, CTX on the level two major lag on the level two and you're gonna see it I have it recorded here it cost me some profit and it cost me to get all flustered and miss out on a BYND um, trade with puts okay it it cost me and I'm pretty pissed off with uh, e trade at the moment but sitting on a green day uh, fourth consecutive green day uh, now um, I've only had one red day over the last 11 um, trading days, so I am doing fairly well. I mean, I really didn't notice uh, the stats until right now where I just kind of jotted them down and spoke with some friends about it. I'm doing very well, and I'm not going to let this get to my head in the sense that I'm going to want, oh, tomorrow has to be a green day. So I can have five green days, and then I have to go for six, and then I have to go for seven, and I think my biggest green streak is seven days i think so if that's the case and if i get to seven i'm gonna be like now i gotta go to eight the amount of pressure you build up with that is astronomical and i hate to i hate the point i hate the fact that i'm keeping track of this mentally at this point um but it's kind of hard to ignore so what i'm gonna do is tomorrow i'm just gonna roll in and i'm gonna look to hit a base hit if i hit a base hit great if i hit a bunt like today good if i hit a home run outstanding if I'm red, it is what it is. I'm not going to let this get to my head and, and put unneeded pressure on me. So um, with that said, we're going to go ahead and jump right on into today's trade. As I bring that up, do me that quick favor. Smash that like button, which is easier to do than actually finding this trade I recorded for you. Where is the trade? Here it is. Okay, so is did it not record? Okay, so there we go. Okay, okay. I got I got scared for a second there. I thought I didn't record it. Okay, so here I'm in CETX. My thought process here is as long as we can hold VWAP long enough for this 90 MA to creep itself up here, then we're good. My stop was just underneath this candle. Uh, so my stop was 185, okay, because I was holding this area and the VWAP as support. So that was my stop, 185. And I was not looking to add to this position. I wasn't looking to take any big size because small caps have been trading extremely choppy and we are not having those big extension moves that we've been having, that we had like a week ago. We're not getting that. Therefore, I have decreased my size on my small cap positions. Uh, and I'm just looking to, you know, basically put the bat on the ball and uh, hit those base hits. So I'm in there. Uh, I'm liking this consolidation on this decreasing volume, okay? We're holding that VWAP. Oh, now what I want you to notice, let me see, could you even, was it happening back here? No, okay. So we test VWAP one more time. These are three minute candles, remember that? At that time, you see, let me pause this right quick here. You see this? This is my this is my options chain here. I was getting ready to look at BYND puts at the same time. You can see right there, it populated. And I move it over to the side. Oh, look, there you go. Perfect. You can actually see it right there, BYND. And I, I was looking at puts uh, on BYND. But I start to get flustered here. When we start to break over two dollars right there i notice that my level two my time in sales is printing 202 my ask is stuck at 196 and 194 on the bid and we're printing 201 202 on the time in sales 
We pull it back in a little bit. Now, now we make this move right there to 212. Okay, we make that quick move over to 212. We're going off on the time of sales 210, uh, 211, 213, and I'm still at 194 over one nine, under 196 on the bid and the ask on my level two. At that point, I'm like, what is going on here? Right? Like, there's something wrong. Is it my level two? Is it my time in sales? It, where is the lag? Something's wrong. So I'm like, well, damn, what do I do? Because I wanted to hold on to his position and try to get some off in front of 220. So I'm like, okay, what do I do now? Like, I don't know what the reality is at that point. I don't know if it's, like I said, my level two, my time in sales, my chart. I don't know what's glitching out here. Because it's impossible to really know. So I immediately say, you know what? I'm going to take 250 off right here. And I do that. And I just do it in the market order. Because I I had a, I had an order out. I had an order out on, on the ask at, two, at 220. Or 215, sorry. I had an order out at the ask in 215. The highest 213. Sadly, that didn't fill. But I'm kind of like in a panic mode here. I don't really know what's going on. So I just mark it out 250. So as you can see there, the, those are gone. There's 500 there, um, 250 gone right there. I'm like, okay, well, let's trade based off of the chart. But then I think to myself, what if the chart's the one with the issue? What, what, you know, I don't know where the issue is here. I'm thinking it's the level two, right? Because I'm going off of my time in sales and I just unloaded some uh, for a profit. But I don't really know what the problem is. I don't know what's going on here. So when we start to retrace here, I just take it off right there in front of two bucks. And and that makes me mad, right? It makes me mad because I missed out on my BYND puts. You see my BYND here going 210, 188. These things went all the way up to like 280 or something like that, 290. Um, last I saw them, they were like at 270 something, almost 280. So I would have made money on my BYND puts. Oh yeah, you can't really see it. Let me lift that up there. There you go, 210, 188, 210. So I would have made money on my BYND puts, like real good money actually on my BYND puts because I would have had about five contracts, would have been up like 50 cents at a minimum. <sighs> really disappointed, really disappointed here in this action. Uh, I mean, CTX, you know, made this push here to 219, so I would have had my take profit zone uh, on at least half of my position. Then we pulled it in. Oh, we're gonna go make a new high. No, we're not just kidding. Pull it in. Oh, we're gonna make a new high. No, just kidding. And then bam, finally it makes a new high and then pulls it right back into VWAP. Now I'm just gonna watch this all throughout lunch. Uh, you know, if it sets up and maybe hits up a, you know, sets up a bear trap or we hold this VWAP, maybe I'll look to trade it again. If I do, I'll tweet about it. But as of right now, I'm keeping my 40 bucks. That's why I said it's a bunt of a day. I'll keep you my 40 bucks on the day. Uh, another green day in the books, uh, just one red day in the last 11 days. So doing fairly well on consistency, which is the key to me anyways. I'm mad. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just mad at E-Trade right now. Let me know how you did. Drop it in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to the channel for me. Check out last night's video regarding E-Trade and yesterday's recap. And if you haven't, check out Friday's recap where I, did, where I took 620% profit on my last BYND put. Hope you're having a great day and I'll catch you on the next one.